have a look at the final data matrix that we have arrived at. So this data matrix is for all the winners from 1952 to 2013 and then we have all the contestants from 2009 to 2013. So here we have uh, these fields which is related to the contestant that is the name of the contestant whether she was a uh, winner or not and uh, her age and her height and uh, related to a country for each contestant in a particular year she will be representing a country and for that country we have arrived at a country score this is calculated on the basis of how uh, olympic scores are given this is uh, like uh, we have a uh, big list where uh, for each country we have the number of attempts number of wins and uh, number of times they qualified in top 16 and other things so using these we calculated a formula that is used in olympic score calculation to arrive at this country score so for a country you have a country score the population of the country the literacy rate of the country the age of the country, that is when was the country established, then the GDP per capita of the country. So for a contestant, we have the age and height basically and for country, you have all these parameters. So our model will be making use of both uh, how important a country is and how important the parameters of contestants are. So apart from the age and height, we have also included the beauty score of the contestants. So we will further see like what was the problem that we face while including beauty score. Thank you. Now uh, we have seen, uh, we have had a look up for uh, data metrics. Now uh, we wanted to select like which all fields we are taking from the data metrics to our model. So for that we came up with the correlation metrics. So like this correlation metrics give you an idea of how much one field is, uh, value in one field is dependent on some other field. So we are focusing on the field winner here. So we are looking at the correlation of winner with all the other uh, fields. So when you look at winner, like uh, rank is something that we computed, so that has very, based on whether a person win, won the contest or not, so that has very high correlation. And uh, we are, con we are like, convinced with the correlation scores of other fields, but while looking at the beauty score field, uh, like we saw that it was negatively correlated to the chance of a person being a winner. So this is where we got concerned, whether we are expecting a correlation on the positive side, so negative correlation means like if beauty score is more, then the chance of the person winning is less. So we are concerned about the beauty score part. So we, we are like checking out what is the problem that causing this negative correlation. So like if you see on the beauty score part, like uh, many of the winners images are from 1950 to 2013. So those image quality is what uh, we feel, we felt like uh, that causes this problem. So we removed those uh, images which are very old images that is black and white images. So uh, when we removed those images, we saw that the correlation was coming towards a positive end. So you can see the correlation here as 0 0.0, minus 0 0.0 only. So while removing the beauty score of this uh, older images, we are getting towards a positive side. So uh, we felt like uh, we need to check more on this. So what we did is, we gave our own beauty score of 1 to 10 for each contestant and saw whether how that correlates with the actual winner score. So like four of us got together and we gave the score and we averaged the score for each contestant. And in that way, we found that the beauty score had a positive correlation, just like what we had expected. So uh, we are, then we are thinking about considering Lego's beauty score because uh, it was not like it gave the model a negative uh, negative throughput. That is, uh, it did not improve the model. Rather, uh, we felt that it will be decreasing the accuracy of the model. So we are not considered Lego's beauty score in the final model. And we are planning on considering the beauty score that we have uh, calculated by giving our own uh, by our own intuition. Having uh, seen the problem with the correlation in Lee Hall beauty score, another uh, option that we tried was using NFS for computing beauty scores. And we have said that in Ms. USA, we took two images of her and uh, we computed the beauty score for both the images. So we found like there is a drastic difference in 
So we found that there is a drastic difference in the beauty image for the same person with two different images. So you can see here 8.33 and 6.73. So like you are uh, not able to use anaphase for beauty score because you are not able to get the actual beauty score of a person using anaphase. We wanted to figure out like what all uh, classification algorithms to use in our model. So for that we use uh, scikit's uh, cheat sheet. Here uh, since our data set is uh, quite small, we consider only the data where uh, scikit uh, recommends it for a small data set. So these are the algorithms that we have used for our classification. So we have uh, accuracy score for each one and uh, method by which we selected which algorithm to Okay, so we have our final data matrix ready and we have to choose which algorithms to use in order to like make our final prediction and get the probabilities of the contestants winning. So we ran like a multitude of algorithms, basically we used linear SVM, we used logistic regression, we used SGD and we saw that the, the results for all of them were somewhat similar. I mean in, in some years, for example, if we were testing for 2009, we were getting uh, k-means clustering to perform much better than the others and in some years the other algorithms were performing better so we could not really come to a conclusion so what we thought is we thought of using ensemble learning where what we did was we used the averaging uh, model of ensemble learning and basically all the probabilities which we get from all those algorithms we actually average them out and check out the probability but again ensemble was not uh, like, in fact, Ensemble was performing worse than most of them. So, finally, we, uh, what we did was we, uh, we stuck with, we thought of sticking with the algorithm, which has, like, least variance. What I mean by variance is that, uh, so, every algorithm predicted some number of people correct from the top 16 every year. So, uh, we saw the logistic regression every year, it would predict around 5 to 6 contestants correctly. So we thought that we should stick with that. So finally we, we used logistic regression to make our final prediction for Miss Universe. This is the user interface view for our model that we have developed. So uh, here you have the classifier selection which gives you the list of classifiers to select from. So these are the machine learning algorithms that will internally predict the results. And you have the evaluation here field. This, this is nothing but if you select for 2009, your uh, data of 2009 would be removed from the original data set and it would make a pre the model will make a prediction for the year 2009. So it, the accuracy depends on how many you, the model gets correct in the year 2009. So we have seen the classifier and the relation here. Now the number of iterations within a run is nothing but uh, for the model we are dividing the data into testing and training. So this division like uh, if you give the number of iterations within run as 10, there will be like 10 such pairs of uh, testing and training data. So the more the iterations that you give, the better the chances of the algorithm to learn more. Because your testing and training data would be varying for each iteration run. And number of runs of a classifier is nothing but uh, if you want for the same algorithm, if you want it to run multiple times and average your results, this will do that. So on the click of a submit, you can just get the accuracy score for that particular evaluation here using whatever model that you have selected. Uh, after coming up uh, with the UI, we had um, run the same uh, algorithm for all the models multiple times. So this is for, uh, if you take for one particular uh, algorithm, what it does is, it first removes the 2009 data, calculates the accuracy for 2009. Then it removes 2010 data, calculates the accuracy for 2010. Similarly for other years. So, for each of the algorithm, we had averaged out the results for uh, all these years, like based on the accuracy. So what the accuracy gives is, this This value is nothing but how much you got in the top 16 correct. So this, if you see like for multiple algorithms, you can see like how much you got in the top 16, right? So in this, we found the logistic regression at the highest value of getting the more people in the top 16, right? And uh, other thing that we found was the accuracy score and the precision score. This is calculated internally using uh, scikit's libraries and we come up with the, how accurate our model is. Like out of this six, six, six algorithms, we want, out of the six algorithms, we wanted to select like uh, which one to be our final uh, uh, machine learning model that we are going to use. So uh, one of the 
Uh, dear Rasmussen was that uh, since uh, logistics gave a higher value in the number of uh, uh, number of entries in top 16, right? We'll go with logistics, but that uh, difference was very less. So what we did is for each year we calculated like uh, how much in the top 16 was actually right. So and we calculated a variance on this uh, table. That is, this gives you like uh, how va how varying is the prediction across years. So if you see this. Uh, Logistic regression has a variance of 1.7, which is the least among all. So this gives you an idea that logistic regression, for all the years, it is performing averagely in the same range. That is, it is getting 5 to 6 right in all the years. Whereas if you see an algorithm like k neighbors it is giving 8 correct ones and it is giving 4 correct ones. So this makes our model uh, like uh, not so accurate. Like we cannot say it always gives, it performs within a certain range. Another thing that we wanted to check was uh, we we were able to predict five to six correct using our model. We wanted to make sure that this is better than a random classifier that randomly picks uh, top sixteen out of the eighty five odd countries. So what we did is uh, this is an uh, this is a this is the performance of a random classifier across thousand runs. So across thousand runs, these are the values, these are the accuracy scores that the random classifier would get, and this is the accuracy score of our model. So if you see like uh, the accuracy score of our model is close to 0.8 that is around 80% accurate and the random classifier the highest it would get to us up to 0.6 and that too in the number of instances where it got up to there is very less. So this is, uh, this is another like where we had randomly given a value. Okay. From this we could find like uh, even out of the 1000 permutations that the test ran the random classifier couldn't even come close to our model in any of those runs. Like on the first day, our reactions were like pretty bad when we got the topic. Except for Ruchi. Yeah, Ruchi yeah. was super happy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, both of you all were pretty sad. So what do you think? Like, has, has your emotion towards our project topic changed? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> yeah, the project topic is very interesting now. The project at first we thought it would be like kind of boring where uh, won't have much data to work on. But now it is like uh, after seeing all those images, we have plenty of information to work on. And uh, just looking at the images and ranking them itself was a really like just a very good task, right? We like, at least we both enjoyed ranking each of the images. And we were like totally happy when we got like our ranking and the actual results are very close. Yeah. So it gives you an idea that you are a good predictor of beauty. It's been an amazing journey when we thought. So there were days when we like we were trying to get the correlation of stuff and we were going completely wrong. Like we were using yeah. some wrong algorithms to get the correlation and we were totally like. Worse than wrong algorithms, we are making many silly mistakes. Right. That uh, only after finding out we understood that how silly those were. Yeah. What we th what I think is that if we would have actually considered our beauty scores, in the sense that we would have actually taken a poll from the audience, like. But like actually uh, the audience should have rated all the pictures and we would have got a prop more, more like accurate judgment of beauty because that's an average like you know how an average person would rate that picture rather than going off like you know we we like could have moved that idea since in the beginning only but in the end we wanted to come back to that so. and we tried something for that also like made an application to yeah. make people like the pick the hearty kind of a thing where people just select images and based on that, we come up with the ranking. But the thing is, it's tough to make all people do that. We could make only around 15, 20 people do the thing because everyone is like, they want to rush and they won't have time for. Yeah, that. that's a problem. Some people were just clicking. Yeah, clicking randomly. Just to also. get done with it. Yeah. So we didn't want to take that into our model. Mm -hmm. We are like, uh, we are like totally happy of uh, whatever data we could lay our hands on. Like we were able to do good analysis on that. But it would uh, it would always have been better if we could uh, get more data. But uh, with whatever we had, like we think that we have done a justifiable job. I gotta pick one of yeah, these. Yeah, pick one. Do, do you have phone numbers? Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do I like that? I think I'm gonna go with the USA. 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 That's what we USA. Next. 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 Next.
website with yeah. Google. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, have like, like, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you can just click on the right side. So I think that's kind of uh, this one looks too skinny, but I think that's how you get the end, right? Yeah, the same as that you could get. No, okay, let's try this one. <laughs> you have to make some 18.90 pixels, so you have to be fast. What? Well, I'm going to go. Uh, I Let's take a look at this one. I think I'll go with Kosovo. She's cutting. Yeah. I think Kosovo one, Brazil two, US three. That'll be my prediction. What do you think? Who do you think will win? I would say Venezuela, Puerto Rico, and South or South Africa. God, um, tough call. Let's go with Let's go with Puerto Rico. India and Colombia. Okay. Oh, and the U.S. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I would go with Australia. Oh, the U. Ukraine, she's gonna win. Uh, They're all beautiful. <laughs> I would say um, Colombia, Germany, and Spain. Yeah. Now the with South Africa, uh, Colombia, and make hero six and <laughs> yes, I uh, I think Kosovo, Canada, just like So these are all the movies. So which movie do you think you want to be in? Like Brazil, is going to be just Colombia, is going to be Maybe Ukraine. That's accurate. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, I'm so, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm not an expert on football, but I know something. I think South Africa's been doing well the last couple of years. I don't know, this is hard. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have little talent videos or anything? No. So I'll, go with, I'll go with Ukraine. Okay. Well, I'll go with Colombia. Uh, I don't know why. Wow. Okay, you got nine minutes. It's the highest. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's Spain. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm on fast right now. I think I'll go with Kosovo. So, uh, okay. I love this universe. <laughs> oh, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not bad. Bad. Of course, I will go for India. Any day. I go for India. Because of the country or because of? Because of the nation, yeah, of course. And of course, she's beautiful too. Of course, she is. <laughs> okay, I think I'll go for Venezuela. You go for Venezuela. Miss Colombia. I'll go for Mercy. I'll go for Germany. Wow. We would like to thank a lot of people who have helped us throughout the project. First and foremost, we would like to thank Professor Steven Skeena for his guidance and uh, encouragement throughout the, all the phases of the project. Nolan, Adini and Ruchi, thank you very much. Uh, our videos would, have had and be, would not have been better without you. And we would also like to thank Lee Hu for his beauty score model. And I would like to thank my teammates Kanchan, Utpal and Srinath for all the hard work that they have put in.